are deployed across the U.S. due to planned armed demonstrations ahead of the inauguration. Washington, D.C., along with other cities like Ohio, Illinois, and Connecticut, cities in those states, rather, all have federal and state buildings under lockdown. There's also heavy security at Georgia State Capitol ahead of Wednesday and possible armed protests. CBS 46's Yasmina Alston is live in downtown Atlanta. Yasmina, quite a scene out there. Yeah, Ashley, quite a scene. If you're trying to get anywhere near the state capitol building, it's going to be quite a challenge. You can see behind me, the National Guard is set up here. If you look here, you can see there are barricades around the entire state capitol building. And Georgia State Patrol is here as well. Plus, roads were closed off earlier to get to the capitol. Now, the amount of law enforcement greatly outnumbered the handful of protesters that we saw here today. There were two armed protesters who said they came because of the election results and said they were armed to protect other protesters. There was also a small group of Black Lives Matter protesters as well. Both of those groups had words to say to the law enforcement and National Guard presence here protecting the Capitol. They should definitely be careful and understand that they work for the people and only the people. And they shouldn't be doing like this. They shouldn't be working with the state like this. And that protester didn't want to give us his name and he wasn't here for that long. But back out here at the Capitol tonight, the roads are back open and traffic is moving again. But of course, that law enforcement presence and the National Guard presence will remain here throughout the night and until Wednesday. Live at the state Capitol, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News.